hours inside the examination hall decide the result of all our hard work throughout the year. All of us really work hard to do well in exams. In fact, I personally know a lot of students who were really good with their studies but they screwed up their exams just because they could not manage time effectively inside the examination hall. So it is very important that no matter how good your preparation is, you are very cool, confident and at the same time managing time very well inside the examination hall. So today we have come up with a very smart strategy that will help you to manage time effectively inside the examination hall. We have named this strategy track time. Here T stands for track time since beginning. Now many a times while writing answers initial during the initial time we feel that you know we have all the time on this earth and we are very relaxed we write slowly we read the questions slowly we beautify things and as a result we have to rush at the end because then we do not have much time so it is important that you keep a track of your time since the beginning make sure that when 50% of the time is over you have also covered 50% of your question paper so that's uh, a way you can track your time since beginning Next is R, that is read instructions. Now this is a very small thing but a very critical one. Now the moment you enter inside your examination hall and you have your question and answer booklet with you, take a deep breath, spend the first five minutes to read the instructions carefully and also do a quick scan of the entire question paper so that you get an idea about the kind of questions which have come in your paper. A, that is attempt order. An interesting thing that you have to decide is in what order do you want to attempt the questions. Now when you have scanned through the question paper you must have got an idea about how many questions are there for which you know the answers. Now if you feel that you know answers to more than 80% of the questions in that case I would say that just answer them serially. In case you come across a question where you get stuck, do not spend too much time on that question. Leave that question for the time being and you can always come back to that question at the end when you have, you have completed rest of the paper. In case while scanning through the paper you feel that you do not know answers to most of the questions. In that case I would say that you should always start with questions for which you know the answers correctly so that you build some confidence writing known answers and then try to attempt the questions for which you do not know the answers. So that would be a better strategy to attempt the questions. Next is C that is check questions properly. Now when we want to write correct answers it is important that we read the question correctly. First thing first, you should not be in a hurry like since we are talking about managing time that doesn't mean that we are in a hurry to you know finish the paper as soon as possible. We are not in hurry but at the same time we are on time. So basically you have to read every question correctly. In fact I would say before you start writing an answer read that question twice so that you interpret the question correctly. Sometimes it happens that you have a small or written between two questions which actually means that you will have to answer only one of them and if we miss out to read that or we end up writing answers for both the questions and which is a huge waste of time. Similarly in certain situations you have a not written in the question maybe which of the following is not a herbivore and if you miss reading that not you will end up answering it incorrectly again. So reading the question correctly and interpreting the questions correctly is very very important. K that is keep things handy. Now inside the examination hall there are a couple of things which we need. It could be pencil, eraser, sharpener or your geometry box. Whatever it is you should have them all ready with you so that you do not have to waste time inside the hall asking for things from others. Make sure that you always carry some spare pens. T that is tick questions. Now the moment you have answered a particular question just tick mark that question in the question paper using a pencil. Prefer using a pencil so that in case you want to erase all of that at the end you can do that. Now how this helps? Now as I said that when we come across a difficult question we leave it for the time being and come to that question at the end. So if you do not tick mark a question it helps you. You can directly come back to that question. Also at the end you can quickly scan through the entire question paper just to cross check that you have attempted all the questions. Next is I that is ignore surroundings. Now this is important. 
Now sometimes when we are writing the answers, it may happen that you know there is someone else who has entered the classroom and the invigilator is talking to that person or it could happen that some other student is asking for extra sheet. Now all of these things which are happening in the surroundings that shouldn't distract us because the moment we get distracted we are actually wasting our time. So try and avoid and ignore anything that is happening in your surroundings. So just focus on your answers. M that is minimum bio breaks. So all of us want to utilize those three hours inside the examination hall to its maximum. So it's good that we drink less water, we take less bio breaks. In fact, I would say that immediately before entering inside the examination hall, do not drink too much of water to avoid waste of time. And finally, E, that is extra sheet in advance. Now, when we write answers, we often need extra sheet. Now, it is good that you inform the invigilator maybe two to three minutes before you actually need the extra sheet. So that, uh, you know, if the invigilator needs some time to give you that extra sheet, he, you will get the sheet in time, right? So you would not waste any time to get that extra sheet. So I think with this strategy of track time, you will actually be able to utilize time very effectively inside the examination hall. Make sure that you keep all of these points in your mind. So track time is your tool to utilize time effectively inside the examination hall. And I'm sure all of you are going to come up with flying colors. Wish you guys all the very best.